Hi everyone! The promotion of distributive justice is done through the tax system as well as through the transfer system. It is meaningless to look, as is often done, only at the tax side. How the government uses the tax revenue it collects has crucial distributive consequences. By providing goods and services that have desirable distributive allocation and by providing transfer payments, the government promotes distributive justice. We will now look in what ways the tax system itself can promote distributive justice. There are three principal ways. It can do it by exempting income below a certain threshold from tax. People with low incomes do not pay taxes. They nevertheless benefit from the use of public goods financed by others who do pay the tax. It can do it by charging taxes as a percentage of income. Let's assume that someone who has $100,000 of annual income is considered rich and someone who has only $10,000 of annual income is considered poor. The tax is calculated as a percentage of income, let's say 10%. This is called proportional tax rate. The rich would pay $10,000 in tax, whereas the poor will pay only $1,000 in tax. The rich paid 10 times more, although they both benefit to the same extent from public goods financed by the tax revenue. It could also do it by charging taxes at different rates, meaning not only that the rich and the poor pay tax in percentage, but they also pay different tax rates. The rich pays a higher percentage of his income in taxes. For example, the poor pays 10% of his income in tax, that is $1,000 whereas the rich pays 30%, that is $30,000. This is usually done by having increasing marginal tax rates.